Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cut out hair in GIMP in three easy steps. Now, keep in mind for this particular technique that you're going to learn today, it's best to use images with a solid color background or as little detail as possible. So step one is going to be converting this image from color to black and white and as few shades of gray as possible. So there's a couple things we need to do first before we do our conversion. And that is first to duplicate this layer. And the second thing is to create a new layer. I'm gonna call it color. I'm gonna fill it with the foreground color. And I'm going to choose this green color right here. All right, let's go ahead and create that new layer. And the reason why we're creating this new color layer will be apparent after step two. So let's go ahead and turn that layer off and select the top layer. Let's go ahead and convert it to black and white by going to colors, desaturate, and desaturate. Go ahead and click OK. Now we have too many shades of gray, so we're gonna try and convert this to as few as possible by going to colors and selecting our levels tool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this middle marker right here and drag it to the right to make that image as dark as possible. So I almost want a silhouette of our model. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my white point now and move that to the left to brighten up the background to try and create it to be pure white. But I don't wanna to go too far, otherwise I will begin losing some of the stray hairs around the edges of our head here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black point now and bring that in to try and darken up our model, or at least her skin. The hair is pretty good. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click OK. Step two is now converting this layer into a layer mask onto the color layer here. But first, we need to go up to Edit and select Copy Visible, which is going to copy all the visible pixels in this layer right here. Let's go ahead and turn this layer off, grab the color image layer, and let's add a white layer mask. Let's go back to Edit and select Paste. It looks like we have removed our model and that's the opposite of what I wanted. I want to remove the background. So let's go up to Colors and select Invert. There we go. We have our model back, but we have a small problem and that is we can see through our model. So there's some transparency coming through and there's a second problem as well, which I'll show you in just a second. So let's go ahead and grab this floating selection layer and click on this icon right here, this little anchor here, and that's going to attach it to the layer mask. Now, if we turn on this color layer, you're gonna see the second problem, which is the hair has a bit of a glow effect along the edges. So on step three, we are going to remove that glow or at least reduce it as much as possible and fix the transparency that is on her skin and that color layer is making it easier to see what needs to be fixed versus just having it on transparency. So let's start off by removing that glow and we can do that by going up to colors, levels, and then making it darker again. So just drag that middle marker to the right until you reduce as much as possible. And you may notice that we're also cleaning up the background a little bit as well. I'm gonna come back just a little bit. I'm gonna grab my black marker this time and drag it to the right. So we didn't remove it completely, but we did reduce it tremendously, if I say so myself. So that looks much better than it did before. Let's go ahead and click OK. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this color layer here and then I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool with the letter P. And let's come over here and click on this little teeny tiny box here. That's going to convert the foreground colors accordingly, but we wanna paint with white to add the skin back. So I'm going to set the hardness of my brush to right around 85, and I'm going to use a large brush to start with to paint back our model. How cool is that? I love it. To discover more ways to remove backgrounds from images in GIMP and to continue elevating your GIMP editing skills, check out that playlist to the right for more ways to remove backgrounds in GIMP.